This time I'm using my B watercolor journal. It's cold pressed and it's 100% cotton. And this is my Holbein watercolor palette. These were my first artist quality paints, uh, so I kind of have a soft spot for them. This swatch card represents the order of the tubes as they came in the box. It took a while before it occurred to me that no paint police were going to come knocking on my door if I switched the pans around. <laughs> Thus, the second swatch card. And just in case it isn't obvious by now, I have no specialized expertise. There are plenty of good YouTube artists to advise you on tools and techniques. But how many of them would whip out the fishing lures for you? Huh? Well, I don't know the answer, but I would guess not many. And for good reason. Uh, those barbs snag like the dickens. For a long time, I was afraid of watercolors. I've always drawn with pencils and pens, but after a few unsuccessful dabblings, I came to the conclusion that paint mediums were beyond my ability. But then a few years ago, my teenage niece invited me over to art with her. She shared all of her supplies, brushes, paper, and a lovely palette of Magello Mission Gold watercolors. It was eye-opening. Since then, we've had a number of painting sessions, and after living mostly art-free for a decade or more, my visual creativity was fired up again. I've painted food, faces, uh, footwear, and now fishing lures. As fond as I am of my Holbein paints, I do have issues with some colors for their opacity levels or for sometimes making muddy mixes. I had considered whether to add more colors to this set or experiment with another brand. Since I now have some Engram colors, I'd like to expand on that palette. I don't fish, but when I'm tripping over my partner's tackle boxes, um, they're impossible to ignore. Spinners, jigs, plugs, frogs, who knew there were so many kinds?
painting the hooks gave so much satisfaction. Almost like, if I can paint it, then it can no longer hurt me. The little green guy there in the middle, he's my favorite. I can't really explain it, but it makes me happy. And it's why I find watercolors so appealing. There are probably some people who would take the time to paint every scale. I'm not one of them.
You are so special. Like a green M&M. I am happy to share this experience. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay artsy, my friends.